Hello, beautiful people of the world. I am so excited to bring you this video today. As you know, I've been on a fall video kick, which is really exciting. I love it. Um, today I am joined by my mother. She is getting in on the action and we are talking about our favorite fall accessories. So stay tuned and uh, let's get into it. want to go first sure we'll just bounce back and forth okay yeah okay. I mean cool. one of the things I like to do first thing after my shower in the morning is spray a nice perfume mm -hmm. and I think this Chloe is fantastic for the fall that's it's the just, Chloe original yes that's a good one I that used is, to have that for sure yes I love this so that's my start to the day and did you know I was actually reading um something from Creed which is a famous perfume house yeah it started in England and they were saying the best time to apply perfume is when you're fresh out of the shower and you're still a little damp because okay. the moisture, I guess, sucks in the perfume yeah. and like keeps it. So anyway, That's and since true. you are on the perfume, I actually have um, a perfume, a couple perfumes that I love in the fall. This one is Burberry Brit. I, mm. I'm almost done with it. I, I wear it a lot, but I've had this for a long time. It just is like a it's just enough it's just a fall scent to me and then can i smell it yeah of course and then another favorite is the ferragamo mm. signorina perfume nice. it just is really feminine and pretty smell that oh, one yeah this was one of the first perfumes mm. that i really invested in for That's myself nice. yeah i, like I felt that. like such a such a splurge at the time um mm -hmm. because you gave us perfumes like oh. every year so we have like a pretty big Oh, yeah. collection for Christmas we'd get a perfume and it was always fun but now we have so many that I think you stopped doing that which <laughs> makes a yeah. lot of sense okay <laughs> all right so what's next um yeah so then of course I like to put on my jewelry and one of the fall things I love at, at least this time of year is the color Turquoise. turquoise love turquoise With brown and like tans and creams turquoise can be really pretty yeah, yeah for it, sure. it's just such a pretty this particular piece i found at a vintage antique shop when we went shopping with your friend marissa okay <laughs> oh, marissa remembers that was for sure. uh, <laughs> ellicott city yeah before the big flood yeah so that was a this is a very fun piece. Vintage jewelry. I did I did my whole jewelry uh, fall collection video. A lot of it was vintage. And you can just find the, the most beautiful, unique things at antique stores. So I just... Yeah. It's part Go of the for fun, the vintage. right? Yeah. So pretty. So I pretty. I love that with browns. It's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And white and with all the colors. Yeah. Okay. Did you have this other necklace? Yes. Here? Because I wear a lot of cashmere sweaters and, you know, there I, I do like that monochromatic look of plain on plain. And nothing pops better on a cashmere sweater than a big chunky necklace. Hell yeah. This is a, um, uh, what is this? And, uh, a, I think a, an amber. Amber. Am yeah. Because am yeah. Am I was thinking, yeah. It's not amethyst. No, because amethyst is purple. purple. So, yeah. Yeah, this is amber. You can see the little, um, I think there's a little bug inside. or Yeah, isn't amber like, the, they have like, B? It's like, no. It's I'm, like um, the sap. From the oh, tree that okay. petrifies, I think, over oh, time. Okay. Interesting. And then they catch it. So I got this in West Virginia, as a matter of fact, in okay. a little town that I like to And that's visit. a big, chunky piece of amber. Yeah, I mean, that is a big, chunky piece. That's pretty gorge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's so your color. Your color palette. You don't wear a lot of silver, but this is kind of an exception right. for you. Right. That is an Cause... exception. And I do like the, the thick chain, too. The thicker chain, mm -hmm. I think, is nice. Yeah, chains then, are really in this year, by mm -hmm. the way. You could just wear this by itself without the... Well, it's dependent. Can you take the pendant off or no? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You yeah, can just you wear can. that as a chain if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about pendant jewelry, because you can you can change out the pendant. You can just wear the chain by itself. I think it's versatile, and it's like yes. you know, investment, investment pieces. Um, I actually did, because I did the whole jewelry haul, I don't have any specific jewelry, but I guess in a, some way... You can consider these kind of an, a jewelry piece. These are kind of um, like fun, uh, like bags that are kind of more of a jewelry statement to an outfit. Like if you want your jewelry to be a little bit more simple, but you want your bag to stand out. This was a, a piece that I got at a, a 
it's consignment a, store. Yeah, it's vintage beaded. You can see it. Yeah, very it's, detailed. it's like looped the way that each is looped in here. And just the clasp is very Victorian. And if you look inside, it's just super oh, yeah. old it's looking. Old, that is an old one. Um, sure. And it's gorgeous. And it just fits just the essentials, your little card case and your phone. But I just think it's gorgeous. It's a little jewelry piece. And then this one I got at Zara last year. It's really kind of fun beaded um animal print basically and you can you can actually put this over your shoulder it, it does fit or hold it and it comes with a little crossbody oh, strap nice. so i actually took this on a walk once with a sweatshirt and i got a lot of looks and i hopefully <laughs> they were good looks i don't know but <laughs> it, it's, it's a really cute. like piece of way of adding kind of a fun jewelry without actually needing jewelry so that's that. What else do you have okay, for Okay, so I have, I brought a scarf because I think fall is a good time to introduce scarves. And this is a really lightweight one, but mm -hmm. I have scarves in every color. Right. I like this one because it's multicolored. So what I like to do with it is basically just take it like this and wrap it around my head and then just do like this and then just tuck it in. And then okay. yeah. that's the way I like to wear it because mm -hmm. then you can pull it up tight to your neck if you want, or you can loosen it mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever. It's real casual. And I like the little tassels at the bottom. I love the shades of green. I think the green is just super nice with your blue eyes. And yeah. Just, the, the turquoise and the green. Turquoise and green together, I think, are my two favorite colors. So I what love... Is, yeah. I love turquoise. One of my anime. favorite things with scarves, and I was talking about this on my Fall Essentials video, mm -hmm. is just how color is used and mm -hmm. how scarves can be a really easy way to understand how colors work together. Yeah. And can really bring pieces that you wouldn't think go together together by just throwing on a print it or a scarf or something. I yeah. just think that's... I mean, and it really does dress up an outfit. Here, I just pulled it through the side. Yeah. So you can do whatever you want with it. Right. Scarves are fun. Fun scarves. It's totally fun with the I scarves. I love scarves. And to go with scarves, um, you know, this morning I went for a walk and it was really chilly. So I did have to put my gloves on even though it's like mid-October. So Mid-October? It's... Oh, wait. Is what it am I saying? October? It's, it's, it's oh, like, what time is it? It felt like mid-October. <laughs> Sorry. It's oh, no. mid-September, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually more towards the end of September. But, it's um, the 20th, okay? Yeah. It's pretty much mid <laughs> October. Yeah. So totally I love dope. gloves. Now these are, these gloves are very nice because they're like driving gloves. I call these like my driving gloves because <laughs> they really nice. really yeah. do hold on to the steering wheel. And it's not like I'm going with a green theme, but I love different color gloves. I mean, if you can afford to add a different color leather glove to your wardrobe every year, do it I mean, you, because yeah, you have like, a lot. I have a lot of gloves, yeah. but uh, the green ones really pop, and I do wear them sometimes with my um, with my orange not orange coat, but it's more like a mustard color, yeah. and it looks really good with that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can wear all those fall colors that I cannot wear, which is exciting. Yeah, I love the greens and the blues. Okay. I mean, one one thing that's kind of along that line of the warm weather stuff, but this is. It's a little bit, I don't know, this kind of fabric collects a lot of lint or dust or whatever you call it. Um, but I love a fun little beret in the fall. Oh, yeah. You know, I, like add a little brooch or something, you know, or just, I don't know. I just think it's, it's very fabulous. Cute. And this was a gift um, from someone who went to Paris. Um, that was really nice. Um, I wish I could get away with those. I'm just. We'll try it on. I'm just. Why I would. I'm really not even sure how to wear it. You just pop it on. Yeah. You kind of. This goes at the back. I think or? so. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see why I never wear them. Why? You that see? doesn't look so bad. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the thing berets like you can wear them like puff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe like. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I feel maybe like, maybe black's not the color, but I do have a red one as well. Maybe the red is maybe, better yeah. with your eye color maybe. and your hair. Uh, black is a little too harsh. It's, um, it's rough. But I do think a fun little it's pretty. beret. I talked okay. about some other hats that I like to wear, but a beret is kind of fun. Especially, I think, moving into the winter, too. It is nice. For sure. 
Okay. Um, one thing that you probably don't have, because you're, you're not much of a makeup wearer, but I like in the fall to add a little bit of a um, pop of color on the lips, whether that's like a red or like a, a deep berry mm -hmm. or like a stain. What I like to do with this, because it's kind of dark, I just kind of press it and, um, you know, kind of creates more of a, like a stain mm -hmm. vibe and you're not using yeah. a lot of product. So I didn't, but that's, that's that nice. this one is from NARS. And these are the audacious lipsticks in this one's in bet, but mm -hmm. these are, these are really good quality lipsticks for sure. Right. Okay. I happen to love socks. <laughs> yes. And socks are probably my biggest weakness because you just can get so many different kinds and they, they spark joy. They, they match joy. your, your mood. So like I have these shark socks. And I just love them because one, they're navy blue, and then they also have the little white sharks on them. So if I'm feeling um, a, a need to be a little aggressive that day, I'll wear my oh God, shark. Watch out! <laughs> That's getting aggressive. And I brought these because these are—I mean, I love all of, but these have little puppy dogs all over them. That's I got cute. these at J. Crew. I have to say, both of these pairs I got at J. Crew. They make good quality socks, so you can't go wrong with J. Crew. But really, just about any place you go, you can buy a great, mm -hmm. fun sock. And I've had more people compliment me on my socks because you really? know, you always like kind of when you're sitting down, you cross your legs, and there's yeah, your sock, right? True. And people tend to look at your socks without even realizing they're looking at them. Yeah, I mean, I was at the doctor's the office the other day for my physical, and you know. I had to strip down. The only thing I left on was my socks. <laughs> what a picture but, that would be. <laughs> to say, I got a compliment from the doctor on my socks. So, you know. <laughs> too much. Say, too much. <laughs> too much information. <laughs> I love it. I, uh, I love sunglasses in the fall, too. Because I feel like, I don't know, it's, sunglasses seem like more of a summer thing. But I think in the fall, I mean, they're necessary all year round. Um, yeah. Oh, oh. Especially if you live in a place like Colorado where the sun shines right. over 300 days out of the year. But you got me these um, a couple years ago. They're they're a Burberry. Oh, I like those. Yeah, they're they're big and chunky, but they're fun, right? Like right. I, I just think with the fall, with the all the the warm tones, I think that I Can wear. I try those yeah, of course. I like. wear those um, a lot. Oh, fab. Oh yeah. I like them. <laughs> Well, now that we live together, <laughs> yeah, we can both benefit from. Uh, I can benefit from that's your true cashmere sweater uh, wardrobe and you know my accessories. Anyway, yes, I love that. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, I'll show you my boots because I can't go anywhere without a nice pair of boots in the fall. So, um, these are my favorites. Uh, these are by Fry, and I love Fry boots. They are so comfortable. Uh, so yeah, a nice pair of brown leather boots. And I these have, are nice because they have the zip in the back. They have the zip in the back. What I like about these is the heel is very small. I don't mm. like a big heel because I do a lot of walking, but you could see these kind of have an equestrian feel to them. I feel like so I might need to borrow those. You could wear them. I like to wear these with leggings and mm. a nice chunky sweater. I think that's such a fun look for the fall, mm. but that's... Those are my favorite boots. Yeah. Well, what I'm finding, I just got a pair of fry boots. So if you're in, if you're interested in getting a pair of fry boots, check Poshmark or eBay because I got a pair of tall fry boots for like sixty bucks the other day. Wow, that's great. Yeah, and granted, you know, I've got to stretch them out a little bit because they're a little bit stiff. But mm -hmm. I like, I wish them. I wish they only almost had a zipper because it's kind of a pain to be like hoisting the boot boots up. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I will talk about um, on a shoe on a shoe trend. I know I well not not a trend. I talked about some of my favorite shoes in my essentials video, which I'll link somewhere. Um, but <laughs> these are nothing like elegant or sexy or anything like that. But these are an essential for me, starting September and onwards. I would say until probably March or April. Mm -hmm. But these are just my UGG like slippers, and I've had them forever. They're cable knit, you know, on the top. And I just, 
I can't. Okay, I didn't know they were slippers. I thought yeah. you could wear them out. Well, I, you can. They have like they have like a full sole. Oh yeah. But typically, I wear them around the house. Those are cute. Because I love them so much, I don't want them. I wanted to extend the wow. life as long as I can. Do they have this in lots of different I colors? I think they or? have it in gray. I'm sure. I mean, I assume they still have this style. These are really Those old. are cute. But. Yeah, I like um, them. Yeah. You have to have a pair of Uggs. And speaking of slippers, that's a nice segue into my overnight bag. I brought this overnight bag because I think in the fall in particular, there's lots of three-day holidays like yeah. Columbus Day. And nothing's better than getting away, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed by all the work. Mm -hmm. Just take, you know, an overnighter somewhere. And this is just a nice leather bag that's, you know, that is basically unisex. Yeah. Because, what is this brand? I've never um, seen it It's an Italian oh, okay. company. It's really Let's nice. Let's see, I think the tag is inside. I mean, it's a well-worn, well-used. It is, and my husband was big. going down to Atlanta to help you pack up and move right. back home, and um, he, he wanted something lightweight that he could just carry a couple of days worth of clothes mm -hmm. in, and I told him, well, take my leather bag, and he's like, are you sure that's not too girly? I'm like, no, no, no. it's definitely not too girly. No, not at all. But it's got the handles, and then it's also got the strap, so if you're at the airport and you want to get somewhere fast, just yeah. putting that strap on and going. Yeah, it's nice. But it's it, nice to have an overnight like that. Like you got me the Longchamp bag, which is more of a nylon fabric because I think for me leather tends to be too heavy mm -hmm. when I'm traveling because I just like to load my. Yeah, I like to shove as much as I can. But the Longchamp bag has really been a lifesaver since I've had it for sure. Yeah, I love leather though. Leather just wears so well. Speaking of leather Italian bags. Um, Fall to me is like get back in gear with, you know, learning and growing and trying new things. And, and for me, that means recommitting to my coaching business and like figuring out some new curriculum that I can add. Mm -hmm. um, so I find myself on the weekends like going to the local coffee shop to do work outside of my office where I do my day job work. It just mm -hmm. kind of mentally helps me separate the two. Um, but this is an old Prada bag that I had probably five, I got five years ago plus um, mm -hmm. at this point. Um, mm -hmm. And I put it on retirement because I was noticing the handles were getting really worn and I need to do something about that. But with the fall, I just think this color looks, it's like a putty gray color. It looks mm. really nice, I think, yeah. with browns and blacks and, and more fall colors. So I've been I've taken it out of retirement and I've been using it again, mm -hmm. um, and it perfectly fits my laptop and all my goodies. So I've been really using this a lot this fall so far. Well, that's good. I mean, it's not even technically fall yet. Can you believe that? It's like I know, but it's it just, feels, it feels it definitely feels it like feels fall. like fall. Yeah, it feels like fall. Well, I guess. The bag that I've been carrying the last couple of years has been my Louis. Just because it's Such got a nice, the nice strap. Yeah. And it's just easy to just put over my shoulder and just carry. And I think once you get used to a bag, it's hard to give it up. I, was, I love a hobo. You know, yeah. a shoulder bag with like, you just throw What I like about this one is it actually has the great little pocket in the front so I can put my keys and my mm. cell phone which I like because yeah. it's it's very handy when your phone rings and you have to get to it quickly. So that's... Uh, what I love about this bag too is like the flexibility of the canvas and over time it kind of like molds and shapes and I, I like that. Um, yeah. And also the colors are so... They're just inherently fall. You know, like the brown and the tan and the, the gold. I just think with cream and all the colors that you tend to wear... Yes. In the fall, just looks I so do good. have a coach bag that's leather, brown leather, and, and fairly beat up. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I love that bag just as much yeah. as this one. Right. And so I do trade off. But I find, like, for me, I have a green bag, I have a pink bag, I have a black bag, I have all these different color bags, and then I tend never to wear them after one season or one mm. year because mm. I kind of get bored with it. All but right. if I get a neutral bag like this, it's just leather that yeah. wears well, I just want to keep using it every year right. so I haven't right. given up on this one yet and it's been a few years since I've been carrying it so yeah. that's pretty much all I have for my essentials 
Yeah, and the last thing that I have are belts. I, I find belts can be really difficult to wear other times of the year because it's just so hot and I don't want anything too tight to my body. Mm -hmm. But I think in the fall, wearing belts just adds that extra pizzazz and I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not too hot, so I like it. Um, right. So I have, you know, I recommend getting, you know, a belt that's in your kind of color family. I have three neutral belts here that I really love. This one I got at Topshop. Um, and it's very kind of, it reminds me of a collection that Chanel did, and I don't remember it. It's kind of like a Western collection, mm. and it's a double looped That's cute. kind of gold Western belt, but I just think it looks That's super cute. nice. Um, That's cute. Cinches in the waist. I love that. Then I have this one that I got when I was in England in September last year. Is that all? Oh, I can't believe that was a year ago. That's insane. Um, this is from Andler Stories, but it's just a really, again, that taupey um, kind of putty gray color. Mm. I just think looks really sophisticated. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do like ponchos or bigger sweaters and just tie a belt and or over a blazer. And I think it just adds the extra pizzazz. Um, and then this one will be in my haul video I'm doing soon. And it's been a while since I've had a nice brown belt, mm -hmm. but I've had this for a few days and I already feel like I've, I'm trying to style outfits with it. And this is from H&M, so it's nice. And I like that it's got this stretchy, stretchy back, which I think is convenient. I love belts. I bought a suede leather belt when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, in high school, <laughs> we used to wear really low jeans, like, right really low mm -hmm. um, and so we need long belts to go over our hips mm -hmm. I still have that belt in my closet mm -hmm. I mean it's super well, bring old. it out because 70s is bad I know <laughs> the 70s is the 70s bad. oh it's great big <laughs> belt buckle nice wide belt mm -hmm. I mean I have a picture in my high school yearbook wearing it and I just like oh when I see that belt it just brings me back to to my hay days. <laughs> I love it, awesome. Well, thank you for joining me for sure. today's video. I hope you fun. guys um, found something that sparked joy or, or helped you thinking about what your uh, fall accessories could be. Anyway, um, stay tuned for more fall videos coming soon and I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.